uh, since this is a first time, let's approach this like you're at a Chick Fil A job interview here, wanting yeah, to I come. Love, I love Chick Fil A. You're wanting to come work at the fry, you know, do yeah. the fries and everything. Yes. But to our audience, maybe who only knows the song we just played, um, how did you? Maybe just a minute or two version of how you ended up in front of us today, from a faith standpoint, and then even a music standpoint. Yes. So there's there's kind of two there's two parts to the answer. So the the first part of the answer is that ten years ago I graduated music music school in Edinburgh. I put a couple of songs on the internet and got a phone call from a, a management company in LA. They flew me out to Los Angeles. Uh, they paid for the flight, which is important if you're Scottish. Someone else pays. <laughs> uh, we came <laughs> flew out to, to LA, and I wanted to try and make it in the music. And a lot of opportunities came around. But one thing that kept happening was I kept hearing about Jesus. Everywhere I went, people were talking to me about the gospel, which is quite unusual for Los Angeles. And so eventually, long story short, I end up um, through a series of divine encounters and, and experiences, end up walking into a church, hear the gospel, and got saved. Gave oh. my life to Christ completely unexpectedly. Wasn't interested in Christianity before that, but heard this man preach from the book of Genesis and said, this makes sense. God is real, and I need to know Christ. And so a week later was offered a record deal, a mainstream record deal, which God told me to turn down. So which had been my dream since I was 16, turned the deal down. And so I find myself back in Scotland um, and at Bible College. So I lived down in London a few years ago and was an assistant for a Baptist church. Was planning to go into ministry uh, when God, God told me to, to go out to Nashville. I felt as though God was saying, go to Nashville. And so I, I flew out 2016 to Nashville and was offered a Christian record deal two weeks later. Wow. So it's, it's, that's the kind of, in a nutshell, yeah. the two parts of it. I hear that story all the time. That's such the norm. <laughs> <laughs> that it's fairly that, typical. That's yeah, every yeah, artist. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, no, that is amazing. That is, that's incredible. Um, it gives, you know, it's, I didn't know that whole story at all. I knew you had gone to Bible culture. I didn't know about yeah. the, you know, a lot of the people we play grow up in church and then they walk, yeah. you know, drift and then they come back. Mm -hmm. But to be just blindsided by the gospel, I think is amazing. Yes. Like, where it, did that come from? It was very um, unexpected. Yeah. Definitely. That's great. I, you know, I talk to the audience about this all the time that I, for years, lived in the UK and Ireland and it's very dark spiritually. And yeah. so it was kind of cool to see you come to America to find gospel and be able to i didn't know there were christians in scotland yeah and so when i got saved i was literally googling christian churches because i grew up sort of nominal catholic and yeah. so i knew about the priests and everything but i didn't i didn't think people were talking about christianity or explaining it in a way that was relevant to life and so i, I it was all new to me completely new oh that's amazing 